This is Paul Chinkle's Artifacts. This evening, Artifacts will explore book art. Book art is an alternative art form which is used by artists to express their ideas. At first, Artifacts will speak with Marsha Resnick, a photographer who has made a number of books. And after this talk, Artifacts will visit a symposium on book art organized several weeks ago by Marsha Resnick. Let me ask you, uh, Marsha, um, uh, that particular uh, symposium you were organizing uh, at the uh, International Center for Photography on 94th Street, I think it is, wasn't it? What was that about? Um, that was called Book Art. Mm -hmm. And that was, that was directed towards the making of photographic books originally. That was the mm -hmm. intent of the course. But in creating the course, I realized that to isolate photographic books out is really pretty meaningless because yeah. a lot of those people, um, a lot of people who make photographic books don't really consider the possibilities that the book has, that the form has. The latest book that I'm doing that I'm trying to get published, I think, does that for the first time. Mm -hmm. it, it might be for the last what's, time. What is, what's the content of that particular book? I mean, the what, story of my life. The story of your life? Yeah. From birth to uh, from, uh, age what? <laughs> from birth to, well, actually, the first, the first uh, well, actually, from not exactly birth. Mm -hmm. From more or less, um, well, the first, the cover of the book has an image of it of uh, more or less a little girl or part of a little girl sitting at a table, and on the table is a black and white composition book, uh, mm -hmm. a glass of white milk, uh, a bottle of black Bosco. She's wearing white socks. She's wearing black and white saddle shoes. Uh -huh. Sitting on little plates are black and white um, Malamars and and. Um, Mm -hmm. And you know those other black and white cookies. Everything is black and white, mm -hmm. and it's more or less a morality play. And it's more or less about the moment that the super ego intercedes and we lose mm -hmm. our id. So it was from that moment up until like now that who, the who book took is. This picture, who took this picture that you're describing? I took now. all the pictures. Oh, you took all the pictures. I recreated scenes. Oh, from I, my see, life. I see. I see. I see. I thought it was like a documentary. No, uh, no. It's uh, all. Fan, it's all recreated. It's called it's, the name. It's very important. The name of the book. It's called Revisions, and it's a pun on the word revision because uh -huh. it's I it's revisualization, and it's also I gave myself the poetic license to revise my past to kind of juice it up, you know, <laughs> wherever it was boring. That's fabulous. <laughs> so, <laughs> I like that. I like that idea. Yeah, like yeah. when you, when you were eleven, or there's nothing much happened when you, at the age of eleven. Well, a lot of Maybe stuff it happened. might have happened. Well, but, the you know. basic issues. I mean, I deal with howdy doody. You know, like all. All those like really major things in life, you know, hula hoops uh -huh, and uh -huh. all the stuff, you know, you know, kissing, uh -huh. <laughs> the facts of life, and uh -huh. all that kind of stuff. And it, it's a very funny uh, book. Uh, how long? Did, how long did it take you to?